Hi, welcome back. This is Maths for 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the unit vector. Uh, the first thing you need to do then to find the unit vector is to work out the magnitude of the vector. If you don't know how to do this, then a quick way of doing it is to just square the numbers in the vector, add them together, and then square out the answer. And then once you have the magnitude, you can divide all the numbers in the vector by this answer that you've just worked out. And the unit vector will give you a vector with a length of one, and it'll keep the vector in the same direction as the original one. So let's have a look at example one. So we're gonna convert six, eight to a unit vector. So first step is to square the numbers in the vector. So six squared is 36, eight squared is 64. So if we add these two numbers together, that will give us 100. And the square root of 100 is 10. So once we have the magnitude, then we can divide both the numbers in our vector by 10. So we'll get 6 over 10 and 8 over 10. And we can simplify this uh, to 3 fifths and 4 fifths. So this will now have a length or magnitude of 1, this vector now. So let's do example 2 then. So this time we've got the vector 1, 5, 3 and we need to convert it to a unit vector. So again, if we find the magnitude of this vector first, so if we square the numbers in the vector, 1 squared is 1, 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9. So if we add these squares together, that will give us um, 35. And then we just need to square root the 35. So root 35 we can't work out so let's just leave it in third form so the final step then is to divide each component in the vector by root 35 if you like this video make sure you like it and also subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching.